Assalamu alaikum, namaste, hotel, shalom alaikum, peace. This is Tracy Lene Muhammad, and I wanted a few minutes of your valuable and precious time while I'm in between classes to ask you to take a few moments to imagine something with me. Imagine what your life would be like if that thing that you dwell on all day long that feels like it's blocking from the life you want. Imagine if it never happened. Imagine if you never made that judgment call that turned out to be pretty stupid. I don't like the words right or wrong because for me, everything is right. If it even leads me to know that it was a stupid choice, it's still right because it, it helps me if I grow. If I don't grow, it lets me know how stupid I am and I need to grow. And that's just me. I'm definitely not telling you how to think. But let's just imagine that that stupid thing that you did, you didn't do. How would you be living your life now? What would you be doing if you never did that thing? Right now, what would be happening? Hold on to that. And then start right where you stand right now to start living just like that. Because in reality, it's done. You've done it. It cannot be undone. But what can happen is you can take the moment you're in right now and live your best life. You don't have to let other people hold you down with what you did. You don't have to hold yourself down. Whatever you just imagined your life would be like without that thing in it, let it be like that. Make that thing non-existent. And when somebody reminds you of that thing, say, I think you got the wrong person. That's not my life. You don't have to be the version of you that somebody else creates. And you damn sure don't have to be the version of you that was yesterday. Imagine what your life would be like if you ate healthy foods and you weighed your proper weight. And then start doing that. Because whatever you can imagine is exactly what can be in your life. As a matter of fact, your life is right where it is today because what you've imagined in it, what you've thought about, it's come about. Those stupid things that we do don't have to define us if we don't allow them to. Oftentimes, the stupid things we do affect other people. But here's the thing. You can ask them to forgive you if they feel safe around you. If they don't, don't bother people who, who you make feel unsafe. Don't give them that anxiety just ask them to forgive you in your mind talk to their soul and then keep it moving but if you are in a space where they're still allowing you in their life apologize to them and then stop doing the stupid things oftentimes we apologize for something we've done and then we just keep doing it over and over and over again and we say things like don't hold me to to what i did five years ago but you're still doing doing it now five years later you're still doing it you may be doing it with a twist but at the base of it you're still doing it so perhaps you know I heard this before and it resonates with me when we do something stupid our ego wants to justify the stupidity by not allowing us to acknowledge the person's pain that we brought it in their life so we justify what we've done I mean, on all kinds of level, we say things like, well, I wouldn't have did this if you hadn't have done that. I even hear, like when it comes to adultery, I hear women say to other women, well, what weren't you doing that made him go for somebody else? That's bullshit. If you in your heart are a cheater, you'll find a way, you'll find an excuse. Like many years ago, I think I shared this before, when I was in college and uh, David Justice committed adultery on Halle Berry and me and, and two of the other sister friends, we looked at each other and said, we don't stand a chance. And it's because we, in our minds though, if Halle Berry is that beauty, beautiful and somebody could, you know, do that to her, you know, although we're beautiful. And now I understand that beauty changes, you know, in terms of what, like Halle Berry's not more beautiful than I am. She's just Halle Berry and I'm Tracy. It's really just that simple. Anyway, it's almost time for me to go back in and teach this class. I really just wanted to, because every day I'm going to make myself, I'm going to get out there because I know this is a part of my life's purpose. So I'm going to get out there and say something and hopefully something I say pricks something in your conscious. What I wanted to share with you today was just for you to decide 
to stop living in the past. Stop living in somebody else's valence of who you are and decide you want to live the way you want to live because you get to. And if people leave your life because of that, wish them peace. Wish them blessings. Wish them joy. Pray for them. Don't pray on them. And keep living. Thank you for your time. Assalamu alaikum. Namaste. Hotep. Shalom alaikum. Peace out to Brooklyn and everywhere else.